Hi, I'm Kasey Appleby, or Zane, and I'm from Fruity, and I'm here today with... Rory Bland, the Whole Food Dude. Hey guys. Hey, and the Whole Food Dude and I are going to check out these two amazing high-speed, high-quality blenders. This is an Optimum 9400. This one lives in my kitchen. I use it on an everyday basis, and I totally love it. Uh, this is a Vitamix Total Nutrition Centre. So, we're going to look at them, independent review, we're going to throw a few recipes in, see what comes out the other side and see what comparisons we can make. Look at this one, it's a hummus. So over here in the bowl we have one and a half tins of chickpeas and some tahini. We're going to throw them both into the bottom of the blenders. I've got a quarter of a cup of olive oil, you could use almond oil as well, it's kind of a yummy replacement. We've got a half a lime which we're going to squeeze straight in, just adding a little bit of tartness and a little bit of liquid into this recipe and a clove of garlic. Crack of delicious salt here and a little bit of pepper. Would you like that, Rory? I would love some pepper. And we're going to pop the lid on. Now we may need to add a little bit of water while we're blending uh, just to make sure that it's got enough liquid. But I think what we're going to create is the most delicious smooth hummus from the Optimum 9400 and we'll compare the texture between the two. Are you ready, Rory? Oh, I'm so ready for this. Let's <laughs> go, just because you want to eat it. <laughs> we'll turn them both on low, we'll turn them up high and we'll blend for the same length of time just to make sure that we're doing exactly the same things for a fair comparison. same length of time. This one looks pretty smooth. Um, I probably would like to add a little bit of water to make sure that it was a little smoother in the end result but mm, oh no it's pretty smooth mm. and pretty delicious. Let's put it in a bowl and we'll make a comparison. We've only added just that little bit of lime juice and a little bit of the olive oil and yet we've got a smooth and delicious result. What I love is with the Optimum 9400 um, blender, those long blades in there make sure that everything goes really, really quickly um, when you're blending. So when you're blending um, thick, chunky kinds of mixtures, you get a really quick result. Two little hummuses. We use the standard recipe for hummus and we've made them up. I'm going to use a spoon to try this one. Mm. It's completely smooth. No lumps and bumps, a nice delicious texture. We needed to use the tamper in both blenders to do with such a thick mixture. Is that, how about this one, Rory? Is it still the same texture, do you think? I think so. It's about the same. Mm. I might even actually say that's slightly smoother. I was about smoother. to say yeah. that as well. Yeah. Um, the, the Optimum mm. 9400, this does have some little bits. I'm getting little bits of garlic mm. in there. You know, every now and then you get Mm. Whereas in here I didn't actually get, I got the flavour of garlic, mm. but I certainly didn't get any bits mm. at all. So, in this particular one, thick recipe, took the mm. same time to get a very similar visible texture, but definitely a um, tiny, tiny little bit of um, garlic chunks mm. still left in the result from the um, Vitamix blender. So we're going to clean up this mess and make another recipe, do a comparison, be right back. <laughs> 